I'm going to start out this problem by sketching the graph of y equals x squared. And to be very clear about what I'm doing, I'm just going to make a table of values. Pick some x values centered around the y-axis, because I know the vertex of this one will happen at the y-axis. So I squared those x values. And now I'm going to make a table of the second equation. And you can see all I need to do is take the y values that I got from the first equation and add 5 to all of them because I picked the same x values. And once I have these, I'm just asked to graph them on the same xy plane. So I'll graph the y equals x squared first. And then we'll see the relationship between y equals x squared and y equals x squared plus 5. But I have a guess. Um, I know that if I keep the same x values, then when I go from y equals x squared to y equals x squared plus 5, I'm just adding 5 to every single y value that I had before. So I think that that should just take the curve that I had for the first graph and just push it up by five units. So let's see what happens. Got points at negative two, four, negative two, one, zero, zero. 1, 1, 2, 4. So I plot those points and just connect them with a smooth curve. I already know it should look like a parabola. And now I'll do the same thing for the second curve. And this is a little tedious, but um, it's serving a purpose. The purpose is so that you can sort of explore this on your own to figure out how you can change these graphs on your own. All right, so now that we have both curves, it looks like that um, I was right. You can just push the graph up by five units.